on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the Lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Anything? 
light enough to carry her. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. can't come back for you. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. We need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? Gotta keep going. We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin 
one was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Rebecca, are you going to be okay? What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Who with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food. And, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? We'll look after it, together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey! I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it, right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Oh. Besides. Now, well, hopefully we can figure out a plan. Where's everyone else? We were hoping you would know. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot, but no way we can stay here long term. I told you, that's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. Well, what does Kenny want to do? I tried to talk to Kenny, he flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred you do nothing. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! For the last time, just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? It 
And he's being a jerk. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. Rebecca needs a safe, warm place to have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. There's no real point in scouting ahead. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. It didn't look good. You're probably right. Yeah. So, I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. A group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but... A walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end. Don't we? You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. Really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no, it's not all bad, but what could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd 
I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <sighs> Jackpot. But these walkers got some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. I'll check this one. Find anything? Driver's licenses, two of them. Oh, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. Hold on to him. Emma's getting hard to come by and things aren't going to get better. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Amy always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. Never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, Clem. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Sarah! Goddamn! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Look, we're gonna go do this, but it might not turn out the way you want it to. Are you prepared for what you might find in there? If they're in there, they're in trouble. And we can't wait until I'm ready. Okay then. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other? Go for it. work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. 
Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Pick out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Did anything. Nice trick, huh? That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. Right. We can't stay here. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. to keep it going somehow. We can get around this way, but if we don't get those walkers to move, we're not getting very far. What are you thinking? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Block this! Hurry! Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. 
can't believe he found us. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. Luke, are you all right? I'm, uh, I'm walking. Can't do much else, though. Sarah, she's another story. I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... We're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's important. Seems like you're all alone right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke and Jane and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. <laughs> We're your family now. <laughs> Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. You need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here! Help me hold this! See what you can find! Can we use this? It's not big enough! Fridge! Forget it! That thing ain't budging! Find something else! Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? On three. One, two, three! We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem! Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Look, 
I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. I can't, I can't, I can't! Daddy! Snap out of it, Sarah! Please! You can't save her, Clem. We have to go! Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! Go. Sarah. Come on. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah isn't dangerous. She's gonna be okay. Fine. Just be careful. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? 
That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready. I'm just glad you're here. <laughs> oh. is, is that baby coming soon? Oh, oh, I'll be okay. Just help me walk around a bit. I'll fill you in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's hey, Clem, could you come over here with me for a minute? I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? He could try. At this point, I'd take anyone who's even been in a delivery room. And that just leaves... Kenny. He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. Ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs> I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death? Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. Punches just keep coming. Penny, you're not... you're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me. All the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Penny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. Don't wake him, Rebecca Trapper, like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick.
museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. You might need to bust the mechanism. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby? I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so. Can we fight him? It'll be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good call. Now.
Hey. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. What are you doing here? Nothing. I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially... Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay, I am not going... Ah. Back up. Put the bag down. Glenn, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns! I swear to you! Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please! If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh... I need to keep it... I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey! We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need people that stuff! People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special! Clementine, yes, you must believe... We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You feel fish? You hadn't done this. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Gain, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Oh. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, and we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop open. No, I can't figure her out. And she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Yeah, he always tries to do the right thing. But he's not the same anymore. 
I'm glad you see it too. I need to tell the others about the deck.